Let's move on now. Uh, India versus uh, South Africa. That too has been a very entertaining yeah. series and we've seen some quality cricket, mainly uh, by the Indians. Yeah. So they've won the series of the sixth uh, this sixth game is currently going on. The South Africans are playing for pride. Uh, the Indians have got in Thakur. Uh, the South Africans have got Morris back in. Imran Tahir is in there as well. Farhan Biradin, I think, is playing uh, his first game. So, uh, obviously, the South Africans are trying to win this one for pride. But the Indians, the kind of aggression that they've been showing uh, in this series just leads us to believe that they're not going to make it easy for the South Africans. They're not making it easy for them. They want to, wi they want to win this one as well and win it, uh, and win it big. Well, uh, Indians is a subtle ODI team. I mean, they have done so very well uh, in the past. They, they have a fixed number for each batsman now. Uh, particularly, I'll say the Virat Kohli is a central figure in all respect, being captain and the, the baller who, and the batsman who, who, who not only score himself, but also he carries the other batsman also and ensures that the required rate is achieved at any, at any cost. And Rohit Sharma, wonderful batsman. I mean, he is he's been, he's been stroking so very hard <coughs> in, in all of the formats of the game, particularly in the ODI and T20 that I, I mean, he's going to stay in the Indian team for quite some time. All in all, if you see this series, it's a good series. We dominated by Indians, South Africa, and they should have, considering their home ground, home pitches, everything, but they, they could not match with the Indian technicalities. Uh, looking at the balance of this Indian side, it's never <coughs> going to be easy for the South Africans without Faf Duplessis. And De Villiers, I think, missed out on quite a few games. And, it, and since he's come back, he's been getting out prematurely. Hashim Amla play, played well in the last game, but hasn't been in the best form. He also he got out to Thakur again. Because. He got out to Thakur today. And uh, JP Domini isn't firing either. Because. So it, it was and with a new young captain, Makram. So it was never going to be easy for them <coughs> against this Indian side, especially uh, up, especially them facing two quality spinners in Chehel and uh, Kuldeep Yadav. Ali, I mean, if you just watch it in the series, I mean, uh, the fast bowlers of India haven't uh, much exerted pressure on the South African by taking early wickets. Uh, the spinners have done the whole job for the, for, the, uh, for the Indians over here. Definitely, see, when you don't have a main key batsman over here, Duplessis isn't playing, I mean, he's injured. A.B. De Villiers, I mean, he was injured, he came back, he's <coughs> in those colors. I mean, the main... I would say the main dent was about Hashim Amla because he's the frequent run scorer for South Africa. He hasn't been in, in his flavors. Then Decock, he hasn't been in his form over here. Then Dumini hasn't been in his form. The main key batsmen of South Africa are not in the per perfect form. So definitely that's a, that's a bad position for any team over here. Makram is a young captain. He's, he's a great one, I would say. He's a good batsman too, but it definitely in the pressure situation, he, it will take some time to adjust himself. Mm -hmm. They have been losing out over here because when your senior campaigners don't perform. But you need to appreciate the Indian team. Like I just mentioned about that, I was criticizing them that when they might travel outside India, they might struggle. But they have shown that they have class. They can stand over there. They delivered over here, especially Virat Kohli. He has been in brilliant colors over here because... I think even in the test series, what they showed that even though they lost, they showed a great deal of fight. Ali, see. And to win the third game on a very, very difficult yeah. wicket, they went off for a while because they thought the wicket was too dangerous. They won. They won that game, and I thought that was <laughs> that's the sort of new look uh, Indian cricket team that we're seeing, uh, led by Virat Kohli. And of course, MS Dhoni laid the Ali, platform. One thing, and one thing I would just add on. See, even I always say one thing that the whole Indian batting relies on Virat Kohli. But I was wrong in the series. I mean, it's not that Virat Kohli does not perform. They have got Mahindra Singh Dhoni to step up. They have got Ajinkya Rehane. They have got Shekhar Dhawan, Rohit Sharma. So that's a team effort, I would say. It's been like that for quite a while, though. I mean, Rohit Sharma has, what, three double hundreds in one-day international cricket. Shekhar Dhawan is one of the most consistent openers in white ball cricket, not outside uh, of India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, of course, we all know about Virat Kohli, MS Dhoni. He's mentioned Ajinke, uh, Ajinke yeah. Rahane. Pandya. So, so, yeah, so th th there's some quality <coughs> players in there. I just want to talk a little bit about uh, the spinners here. I'm really surprised that the South Africans haven't been able to play them at all, really. I mean, they're fi I know uh, Yadav has a very uh, deceptive yeah. wrong and he's got a deceptive googly. But I mean, they should have done better, better than that, really, with the amount of technology that's around, the videos that they could have looked at. They should have done a little bit better, I feel. Well, I think um, credit goes to the Indian spinners. I mean, no doubt there are facilities, there are technical facilities. 
<coughs> everything available uh, on, on, on the videos and everything. But even then, there are certain bowlers. I, I'll name one of those Pakistani bowlers as well, Shadab Khan. I mean, still, although he has been playing now quite some time, he's been five or six months, he has been in the international cricket. But still, there is one wrong one which is very difficult to pick, even by the camera, because in this so quick action that it's difficult not only for the empires, the batsmen as well, and even sometimes to the keeper as well. The same goes to the Indians. They, they have a subtle way of bowling the spinners, and these, these these spinners are fully supported by a man like Ms. Dhoni, who is behind the wicket, so sharp in his stumping and so so clever in talking, talking, giving talking very to good talking advice. To the, yeah, He's giving talking them. to everybody ar 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 around the wicket. What the, the, these Indian spinners have done very well <coughs> uh, this time round is that um, they've bo they've bowled slow. They bowled a lot slower than. Uh, some of the other leg spinners uh, 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 around because I mean I know that's the order of the day now and bowlers like uh, Im I I Imran Tahir they, they prefer bowling uh, a little bit quicker even uh, the young leg spinner from Afghanistan Rashid Khan but He's these two quicker, yeah. these two are a little bit different uh, Chehel and uh, Kuldeep, uh, Kuldeep Yadav they like tossing it up slowing it down a little bit I think that's their natural pace and that's also why the South Africans have struggled I mean, if you just watch early, this, both of the spinners, I mean, ball on, they have actually challenged the South African batsmen to step up from the, from the crease and try to hit them up, and where they have already taken on the wicket of South African batsmen. The thing is that they have, or they have misread them, the South African batsmen. Like you just mentioned, or even Karun Sahib, there's so much technology going on. The, uh, the, uh, the uh, arm ball, or the, you got the uh, leg spinner, or the flipper, where you can just uh, watch out through the technology. But there are some deliveries who are too quick. It's not possible to just judge them up. But the uh, playing lot of cricket, they have played almost six one-day matches. I mean, day matches they could have watched every single delivery. I mean, work hard on that. But they have totally out outclassed the South African batsmen. I mean, the point is right. Like, while of course they do have uh, subtle variations which have troubled the South Africans, but most importantly, in my opinion, why they've been so successful, Colonel Oshad, is that they've been deadly accurate. They've got great deal of control. That's why they have the South Africans <coughs> on the mat. If you, you look at the ball, I mean, I mean the, the way it's built up, seam around, and then there are two cuts on the on, on the both side, and when it see the revolution in the air, if, if a batsman knows exactly about the spinners, then he can read from the revolution what sort of delivery is coming. Is it coming from the off to or on to off, or is it coming from leg to leg, leg to? <coughs> gully position. What I'm trying to say is the wrong one is sometime good batsmen pick up while the ball is still in the air. Right. Gentlemen, we'll pick up this discussion <coughs> after a very short break. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back. Before the break, we were talking about the Trans-Tasman uh, Tri-Series. Then we moved on uh, to India's tour of uh, South Africa, the sixth game uh, that's currently going on at uh, Centurion. And we're going to continue to do that. Uh, just before we left for the break, we were talking about uh, the Indian spinners and how they've really troubled uh, the South Africans. Uh, let's move on uh, to India's batsmen, particularly their top order and the kind of damage that they've done. I still have uh, Colonel Loshad and Sayed Mohammed Awais here with me. Uh, Awais, uh, I'll start with you. Rohit Sharma uh, was, uh, was uh, struggling. He wasn't uh, getting <laughs> runs till the fifth game. Then he made a, a, a wonderful hundred. Before that, it was Shikhar Dhawan. It was Dhawan all the way. He bat he was he's been absolutely brilliant throughout the series. He scored in his hundredth game. He uh, got a hundred. And even in the game where he he couldn't go past fifty, he got India off to a rollicking start. So that laid the foundation for India. And not only that, it helped out Rohit Sharma a lot because Rohit Sharma was a little bit circumspect early on. He needed a little bit of time. Dhawan took the pressure off him. Made uh, a quick fire, thirty odd runs. And that's exactly what India needed. And it's great to see that uh, Shikhar Dhawan has been so consistent for the Indians, not just in India, but abroad as well. That's Ali, what he's so good at. He gets his runs abroad, away Ali, from I mean, India. He, one, thing is, uh, one thing about Shikhar Dhawan is that he's consistent abroad. I mean, for India, he has been scoring consistently when he's traveling outside India. He has been scoring in India. But the main uh, uh, question ri rises up over is that has he been consistent overseas? He has been brilliant three, uh, brilliantly throughout. I mean, remember the Champions Trophy, except that match, the final against Pakistan, he was superb. Then now over here, you see his consistent performer over here. 
w one thing what the like it's the continuation of the last thing what I mentioned about over here is that they don't run batsmen not general they're not relying on Virat Kohli that he's not performing the uh, the Indian team would be under pressure they rely on every single batsman and that's the plus point they perform for them Rohit Sharma isn't performing they have got Shekhar Dhawan Virat Kohli standing up there if not they have got Anjik uh, Jinke Rehane they have got Mahindra Singh Dhoni then they have got if I'm not wrong one of the best power hitter in the world I would say one of the best that's Pandey I mean the, with the, he's got tendency right. to ball strike I want to ball. pick up on this point particularly yeah. about the openers because mm -hmm. I think Rohit Sharma and uh, Shikhar Dhawan know that <clears throat> there's a lot of competition we've seen Rehane uh, opening uh, opening the batting uh, for India <laughs> and uh, of course, uh, uh, Rahul can uh, Rahul can come in too. He's a w he's a wonderful batsman. And then there so ma uh, so many others. I mean, they've got this uh, young kid, this left-hander, Pant, Boy, who's yeah. absolutely incredible. He's a wonderful striker of the ball. So maybe that's one of the reasons why Shikhar Dhawan and Rohit Sharma have been so consistent because they know that uh, th there are plenty of players, plenty of openers that can come and take their place. If you analyze that thing, I mean, if you make it short like this, I mean, they have <coughs> five, six or seven batsmen. All of them are match winners. All of them knows exactly to change the game and when to change the game. <coughs> Sorry, all of them knows uh, when to hit the ball and when, when to protect the other, other batsmen as well. The, to how to build up the partnership and which baller is to be uh, c uh, controlled and which baller is to be hit out. That's the planning which is well, well, very well rehearsed by all Indian batsmen, particularly with the, oh, they start right from the opening and the follow up up to number six or number seven. And after there is free for all for the all rounders and the wicket keeper to, to take on the bowlers as, as they want to. Another <coughs> thing that I think the Indians do well is that although there are a lot of players uh, that can come in and, and, uh, and, take, uh, and take Rohit Sharma or Shikhar Dhawan's place, a lot of openers, they still have faith in them. Rohit Sharma wasn't performing, but they stuck with him because they know <coughs> that he's an absolute match winner. And when Rohit Sharma gets going, and I've said this before, there's no better sight in world cricket. I mean, the way, I mean, his, his abil his, the way he times the ball and his placement and his ball striking ability when he gets set, it's absolutely incredible. And when Rohit Sharma gets a big score, more often than not, India go on to win. Ali, I mean, scoring three double hundred, it's, an, it's not an easy job. He's kind of a batsman who goes till hundred, then he rethinks, I mean, that I need to score one more hundred. And he's, he's got he, so much time as well. You know, his he's natural that. talent is just he, He's done that, Ali. I mean, he, hasn't, he has been consistent with the Indian top performing team. Of, I know that the three, four, two matches, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't in his good, good flavors. Then he came up with a hundred over here. Then in today's match, I hope so. Again, he scores on up over here. But the opening department of India has been brilliant throughout. I mean, you need the same thing from the, I would say, from our, even from the Pakistan team to over here too. I mean, because they don't rely on one batsman. They're a team combination. The batting order just carries up till number eight, seven. So it's a good unit over here. They have got a good tendency to bounce back. I mean, the way they have been going on through, I mean, it would be a great total uh, to watch on. And well, so again, we can't end, uh, end this topic without talking about the captain, uh, Virat Kohli. He's been uh, India's uh, best batsman in the series, even though Shikhar Dhawan has been uh, magnificent. You know, in this series, what I've seen of us, Virat Kohli has shown us that he's got so many different sides from there, so many facets uh, in his game. Uh, we saw his uh, century in uh, Cape, Cape Town when he got 160 uh, not out. Mm -hmm. I think he ran about 100 of those runs and it was a runner ball 100 uh, which, just goes to sh uh, which just goes to show that he understands his game, uh, he understands his game so well. <laughs> and, in the, and then uh, in the bull ring uh, uh, during uh, the, the pink ODI, the fourth one, he played a completely different innings. The fielders were in. I think at one point the South Africans had uh, six fielders uh, okay. in the ring. They were trying to cut off. They were trying to cut off Kohli's scoring areas, especially down towards uh, third man. But he adapted and started hitting uh, and started hitting over the top, which just goes to show that he's such a he's a multi-dimensional player, which is why he's one of the best in the world, if not the best. Holly, I mean, he has been uh, well, the backbone for the Indian team. I mean, he has been superb in all the three formats. I mean, whatever kind of condition it is, he adapts to that and see. The main, uh, the plus point what Virat Kohli, is that, Virat Kohli has is that rotating the strike. I mean, like you just mentioned on, I mean, the 100 run score was through runs. I mean, uh, rotating the strike. That eases up the pressure from 
from the team even puts the pressure on the other team and he has got that ability i mean he's got the ability to rotate the strike on every ball and go for boundaries when needed on so, there's so many facets to his game uh, Colonel Noshad, because again, this is a guy who back in I think 2012 or 2013 when Australia were in India, yeah. who's got uh, who got 100 and what 60 deliveries, something like that, or maybe it was 50 deliveries. But the point I'm trying to make is is that you know, he he can do whatever he wants. He can attack and get 100 <laughs> or 50 or 60 balls. But now since he's become the captain of India, I think he realizes that he needs to be a little more cautious and take his time because they know. I mean, he knows that. If the opposition, if the opposition, if they get him, they'll feel a lot better. They'll feel a lot better about themselves. He knows that he's the prize wicket, which is why uh, he's a little more cautious than perhaps he used to be a few years ago. Well, I think I'll go a little back. I mean, since we are discussing the Virat Kohli, I remember Pakistan India played the Under-19 semi-final at Malaysia, <coughs> and this fellow Virat Kohli and Umar Akmal from Pakistan, they were against each other and people were talking, Sunil Gavaskar was also there on that match. When he watched this fellow Virat Kohli, he was talking generally, generally with, the, uh, with the people and the journalists as well and he, he said that this boy is going to create records and records for India and uh, probably he will be the one of those professionals who, who, who will take the Indian cricket to a very very great height and that's exactly is what is happening. Virat Kohli, if you look at his fitness, I mean you rightly said so that he ran so many runs. If you calculate it in terms of it could have been many many kilometers away, right that. Mm -hmm. And then apart from that, I, I mean I, I've seen him I mean, talking to the others, he's written also there that he has got a watch where, where he's got the records of all the players under him playing on the tour where he ensures that the, the records show that how much in, how much calories is we are intake oh, by, by, by the I'm sure player. they see how yeah. much hard work yeah. Virat Kohli uh, puts in and <coughs> obviously uh, the players see that and imbibe it and follow suit. There's no doubt that he's at the top of his game yeah. at the moment, Virat Kohli. Uh, let's move.